Okay, now technology is taking over various sectors. Chat, GPT, and an AI language model is one of them. The program has grown rapidly, especially in the education sector, particularly in the tertiary institutions. But with the change comes new challenges. Let's discuss these with Professor Yudhvir Sidharam, Head of Analytics, Insights and Research at FNB Commercial. Prof, good afternoon. Welcome to today. I know some countries apparently in Europe have banned chat GPT. How should we approach it here in South Africa? Thank you very much for having me. Um, we need to approach it with, with caution to ensure that as we embrace the technology and embrace the benefits that the technology can bring to us, we also do so in a responsible way. Um, what I mean by that is not allowing students to use it for um, unethical practices, but actually embracing it as students, as lecturers, so that we can use it to not just enhance how we teach, but also enhance how our students learn. I understand you are a lecturer yourself. How have you adapted to this new world of chat GPTs and other AI platforms? So, so one example is ChatGPT allows me to go and provide case studies that either have 100% factual information, in which case I can then show to my students, or it provides information, some of which are inaccurate, and I can help students understand and figure out how to critically analyze those responses to then determine what is uh, right and what is wrong according to the methods we covered in the textbook. So ChatGPT helps our students to critically learn to critically think in order to figure out what is right, what is wrong from the information provided to them. So that access, that equal access to information makes them less prone to just to memorize. I mean, when we went to school, we, we were encouraged more to memorize than to think critically. Yes. 100%. And what you learn now is that we live in a complex world, right? So whether you're talking uh, engineering, whether you're talking medicine, whether you're talking commerce, things are not as simple. They're not, they don't remain in the world of a textbook. How do you teach and equip students? How do you teach and equip the next generation to deal with an um, let's call it uncertain things that come their way, to deal with ambiguous things that come their way. ChatGPT is a, is a very great tool to help students learn how to deal with uncertainty, how to deal with ambiguity, and they still have you as a lecturer to guide them and show them the way. You know, one of the biggest problems at universities is plagiarism. With ChatGPT and AI, you have to manage that balance very carefully, carefully, as you said, in terms of the naysayers. But from what you've answered, do you believe that the risks of, of using ChatGPT or AI or the downside of not using it uh, will, will, will not be beneficial to the education sector? I, I think the risks need to be carefully managed. So as you mentioned with plagiarism, it is quite key that every single learner or graduate out there understands ethics and how to apply it in the particular field. ChatGPT is just, how can I say, bringing to the forefront the idea of we must use ethically good practices in academia when we write, when we do essays, assignments, homework, um, etc., in order to ensure that we give credit where credit is due. And at the same time, we end up assessing the accuracy of what it is that we write. So if I pass off work by, uh, that, that, that's not my own, I must be willing and able to defend the accuracy of that. If I cannot, then that's a surefire way of producing graduates who just uh, regurgitate information as opposed to being truly able to understand what it is they write and produce for the benefit of society. Yeah, I mean, AI is here. It's fast becoming a very significant part as well of the job market. So if the students are exposed to it and they're using it ethically, it will equip them for, uh, uh, for success in, in the work environment. 100%. And you can apply that in any industry. So, so whether we're talking medicine in, as, as teaching doctors uh, how to deal with complexities in surgery, ChatGPT can provide information. But the real training happens when that, that uh, training doctor or training uh, future, future practitioner is doing it on the job. So ChatGPT can provide the knowledge. Doesn't mean that the knowledge is always 100% accurate. You have to learn on the job as you go. And being able to figure out right or wrong is a key skill that says no matter what information is coming your way, how do you discern right from wrong when you are operating yeah. table, when you're making a 
decision for your company. So, yeah, Prof, what are you seeing practically on the ground? You've expressed your views and you've shared how we should approach it in South Africa, this whole AI uh, language model, chat GPT, and, and, and many others. I'm sure there'll be new uh, very soon ma 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 mushrooming. How are we doing from practical? I mean, are, are some professors like you looking at the way you're doing it? Are people using it appropriately? I would say that we, we started to see that uh, happen relatively quickly. So over the past year, ChatGPT has become the hype and the craze. Universities have initially started up with cautionary tools, so like do not use it for assignments, etc. And now that there are rules and governance in place per university, it teaches students about academic integrity, and that's a key skill again, no matter which, which industry you're talking about. And you now see universities fully embrace this in your teaching, in uh, setting exams, setting tests, setting assignments, how do you move away from rote learning to actually getting students to think so that you produce a better quality graduate at the end of the day? We've seen that across all of our local universities, um, even starting with some of the workplaces as well. Uh, companies are starting to embrace this. There's certain risks that are different at a company level, but more and more companies are embracing this as we go. Is FNB embracing it? There we go. So again, we had the risk that we needed to cater for, right? To make sure that we're not using this unethically. And, and now we're at, at the stage where how do we train our staff in order to ensure that they understand that we need to get information or knowledge from, from asking ChatGPT a question, but then to go and make sure that that's, um, let's say, balanced with on-the-job learning. Thank you very much, Professor Yudvir Sitaram, Head of Analytics, Insights and Research at FNB Commercial.